What's going on YouTube? Uh, this is Lawson Cherry of Game Clan. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to get full access to the crypt in Mortal Kombat X. And by full access, all I mean is just unlocking every area. And to do so, you've got to get certain items that are hidden throughout the crypt. Yeah, just ignore that. Now, I will not open many uh, tombs or whatever through this. Uh, this is primarily just to show you how to unlock every area and where to find every item to unlock every area. So, first, you want to uh, head this way, and you'll see a uh, you'll see an old tomb here in just a minute. When you get here, just follow this path all the way around. And towards the first item, we're gonna find is a scorpion spear and you're gonna see it in a tree yeah right here and you want to get this first that way you don't have to or well I think you have to get this first so uh, let's see uh, you don't want to come this way uh, I did this by accident, thinking I was heading the right direction, but I wasn't, wasn't, but you will come here later on. <clears throat> so, once you get Scorpion Spear, you want to uh, head back towards the beginning. Which you don't have to run all the way back I forgot about this but uh, you can just hit start and then go back to the beginning from there Okay, yeah, I got a little turned around right here, but anyway, you get back here, and there's going to be a little hole over here to the right. And you want to go through this hole and head into the uh, spider tunnels. Now, in here is where you find the majority of the items that you'll need to gain full access to the crypt. Spiders get me every time, even when I know they're going to happen. Anyway, at this first little fork in the road here, you want to go to your right after picking up Raiden's staff. And then along through here, there will be a few 
kind of test your might ordeals where you got to mash the A button to open a door. Like right here, I think. Yeah. So just mash that until you get that open and then. Come all the way down here and then you'll see a uh, little opening out here where you can cross or a Mortal, yeah, a Mortal Kombat symbol. And we'll use Scorpion Spear to get across and you'll go and grab that gem. And then just work your way back across and back out to the main corridor. And I apologize, this video is about to cut out. My capture card stopped working for some reason, so I will pick back up here in a few seconds. And basically, when you come out of here, just go to the right when you're able to go right or left and just keep going that way. Okay, so we're back. Uh, when you head right from that last little bit, that I was just talking about, you'll come to this square room here, and that door was where you place the gym, and there's no there's no items in there or anything, just more coffins to unlock. And right there, you just saw me pick up Reptile's Claw, which you will need. And then just continue this way. Uh, you need to go to the right first. And there's a lever puzzle, which you'll see the order that you have for each lever right there. And each lever is marked with uh, a set number of little spider gems on the bottom, as you can see. So just pull lever four, one, three, two, and then that door will open. And after each little puzzle that you solve, you get coins, a substantial amount. So come through here and just walk straight and you'll find Kotal Khan's sword. Then head back the other way and you'll see a spot to interact with on the right up here. You'll want to use Kotal Khan sword and slash to the spider webs. And right there on the left side of the little rock there, you got Kenshi's katana. Which isn't used in the spider tunnels, that's outside. Anyway, head back to the... Uh, that square room where the gym door is uh... and then work your way back to the beginning of the spider tunnels Use Raiden's staff. And then when you get back to the fork in the road, you just want to go on the other side. Sorry about all that noise, my cat was knocking on my door. Yes, you heard me correctly, my cat was knocking on my door. Ugh. So, 
When you go left at the fork and open that door, you come to another room here. And if you didn't see it there, here it is again. You get Kung Lao's hat. Now, instead of going straight, you want to go to your left. And then cut right, go up a little bit. Then you'll see a spot to interact with. And you use Kung Lao's hat to knock that down. And there's nothing really down there, just more stuff to buy, which I'll go there anyway. Just to show you what it looks like. Nothing here, as you can see, just these little egg sack things that you can purchase. So, go back to the right, and then a left, and then we'll head back to the cemetery. When you get out, there's going to be a gate that you unlock, and then <coughs> uh, excuse me, uh, you don't want to go in here just yet. Um, you need Sub Zero's Ice Ball in order to proceed through here. So. If you're going along with this video, do not come in here yet. Just wait outside, and then I'll show you where to go to find his ice ball. Basically what you want to do, you want to head back to where we found uh, Scorpion's Spear. Which right there is where you found Scorpion Spear and you want to go to the right on this little fork. And then look right here to the right and you'll, you'll get that ice ball. So now you want to go back to the tomb. <clears throat> now, pick up Luke King's fireball, which is right there, and then you'll see three gears one with the Lin Kuei symbol, Ermac symbol, and a reptilian eye will be for a reptile <clears throat> so I went to the left doesn't matter which way you go you can do it in any order and you want to 
use Sub Zero's ball to get across here and pull your first lever. And continue on your path. Right there is Ermax pendant, which you will need. And right here you can use Raiden Staff to teleport to another area. You don't have to. If you turn left and come back this way, you will see another MK symbol. Come over here and use Reptile's Claw to get up here to the second lever. And behind these little waterfalls of blood, uh, not all of them, but behind some of them there are chests that you can open. And special chests will spawn in there from time to time. Anyway, come back out, follow your path, and kill him if he pops up. Uh, See another MK symbol, you'll want to use Ermax Pendant to gain his hover ability. And just hover across, pull the lever, and head back. You get back to the main chamber, and uh, you can now open the door, which holds Jax's uh, rocket launcher amongst chests. Okay, now that you've got his rocket launcher, you can exit the tomb. Ugh. Hun. And then you want to head back towards the beginning. Not go all the way back, but just right here. Go up these stairs. Use his rocket launcher to open this gate. And then go up to this statue, which you use to gamble coins. Now, the amount that you gamble determines the type of item that you get. Now I don't know for sure, but I just go ahead and bet the maximum and I get the Nether Realm Kamidogu. Which is your last inventory item. So head back towards the tomb that we just came out of. If I ever close my map, there we go. Attack any hellhounds that come after you. Anyway, follow this all the way back around till you get to uh, where Scorpion's spear was in the beginning. And you'll want to go left at the fork in the road here. Follow this all the way around. Go up into this Lin Kuei temple.
I'm assuming this is Link Way, but use Luke Hank's fireball. This opens up this room. There's nothing in here except tombs to open up. So then you go back to that fork in the road and go to the right, and you'll see a Nether Realm portal. For which you will need the Nether Realm Kamidogu to activate. And once you have done that, like so, you enter the portal and you are now in the Nether Realm and have complete access to the Crypt and Mortal Kombat X. So, if you like this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe. Uh, there will be many more Mortal Kombat video videos to come. So, enjoy.